everybody, it's Jasmine and today we're finally doing another Hell's Pizza mukbang eating show and this one is quite exciting because this is stuff that I have gotten myself using the uh, gift vouchers that Hell's Pizza gave me because I guess, you know, like they, they kind of like my videos and you know what, I like them. Right, so this one is the Dairy Free Sinister Pizza and I added on uh, dairy free mozzarella. So this pizza is completely vegan. So if you guys are looking for a vegan pizza, this could be for you, but obviously we've got to try it out. It's my first time trying it out. So it's a little bit of a review going on. And then I got this snack pizza, which is Pride. It's called Pride. Um, it's another vegetarian pizza, but it is not vegan because the cheese is just like, you know, their normal cheese. And it's got a, a Kalamata olives uh, and roasted garlic. And I think you can get um, jalapenos on it. Um, and that's like, uh, you know, um, it's a non-added cost. So you can just get it or you can decide not to get it. So those are the two things that we're trying out today. So this vegan one, I'm quite excited about. Um, so I, I got these about 30 minutes ago because my nearest Hell's Pizza is a, it's like 22 minutes walk away. So let's, <laughs> let's hope they're still warm. Mm. Yes they are, that's good. Oh my god, the cheese is really good. It's creamy. It's like even nicer than normal cheese. Like, it's really creamy. Oh man, I'm so glad that it's delicious. Cover. Vegan cheese is such a process, you know, like, it's kind of like such a new thing and everything. Mm. So this pizza is kind of like a, I would say Mexican inspired. It's got avocado and beans um, and tomatoes and jalapenos. And I'm not sure what this is. I think that's like a oh I see yeah that's um it's like a bean paste oh man that's so good so to get mozzarella put on your pizza um the dairy free mozzarella it costs an extra dollar But man, it's so good. I would even consider like swapping the normal cheese out for the, the really nice dairy free mozzarella. This has also got salsa on it. I like the kick with jalapenos, like spiciness isn't really my thing, but you know, sometimes you just gotta go with it. Mm. 
So that's pretty awesome. Man, I just can't believe how, how nice the cheese is. I was really like, is it going to be like rubbery and tasteless? But it's like really tasty. It tastes just like a really nice creamy cheese. Okay, so now we'll try the vegetarian pizza, which I now kind of feel like I should have swapped out the cheese. So this one's kind of like a, I'd say it's like a deluxe pizza because it's got pineapple, tomato, mushrooms, olives, uh, capsicum, um, did I say pineapple? Yeah, it's got pineapple. Mmm. That's right, I got garlic put on it, but no added pus. And you can really taste it, it's really nice. Because when they asked me, I was kind of like, like, yeah, I want garlic. Like, <laughs> do you even have to ask? Mmm. <sighs> I like the olives. They're really like nice and salty and they sort of, I don't know, they've got like a nice bite to it. Like you know how, because this pizza doesn't have jalapenos on it, so you know how like the jalapenos give um, the other pizza a kick while like the saltiness here gives it like that extra sort of interesting element. I don't know. I dropped it. Gutted. So the price of the, um, because the smaller size, it's called a snack pizza. And it's only $8.50. So it's like that big. And like, I just think that that's like a really good price. if you had a family and everybody wanted to get like their own pizza you know it could really add up but I feel like $8.50 is pretty good and it's sort of like the same price as if everybody went to McDonald's or something except that like you're gonna get a really nice pizza I think of which one I prefer. Hmm. I don't know. Probably this one. Because. Hmm. Oh, probably because of the garlic. Yeah. I'm a I'm a sucker for garlic. And then if I swapped out the cheese, then that one would be vegan. So you can do that sort of thing. And it would be like really nice and delicious. Because then if you got the mozzarella cheese, then it would be $9.50. It's still a really good price. So I'm just going to finish this pizza off. I mean, this piece off. Because then I got some other things that I'm going to do a video on. So I've got to save room, you know. Man, it was such a nice day today. I don't know what temperature it was, but it was, it was nice. Mm. I got these new shoes, the Nikes, and um, I feel like everybody looks at them, 
Oh my god. Is it just because it's my first pair of Nikes and I'm like, oh, everybody's looking at me and thinking I'm like cool or, or maybe they actually are looking at me. I don't know. <laughs> But they're actually really comfortable. Because that's something that I wasn't certain about. Because I was like, do people buy Nikes just because it's the brand? Or like, are they actually kind of good? Or or what? So, I'm kind of like, you know, they're actually kind of good. Huh. Gonna be plenty of food left over for tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't have lunch today, so I sort of didn't stretch my stomach out, so I don't have as much room as I would like. Hmm. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vegan and vegetarian pizza mukbang, and I hope that. You know, if you are thinking about where to go for dinner or, you know, or if, you know, you're, you're kind of wondering what are the vegan options out there, then you will think of hell and go there straight away and pick up a nice pizza. Yeah. But that's it for me today, guys. i got to, like, have a big drink and... And sort of get myself ready for the next video but thank you guys so much for watching um if you do if you guys did like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed then you can hit that subscribe button i'm almost at 200 subscribers so that's super awesome and maybe i will see you guys all next time hey door